so I'm looking for some dandelion blooms. Um, I'm going to get the whole dandelion. The whole dandelion plant is edible. Uh, and we like to make um, coffee out of the roots. We like to take the roots and chop them up and roast them and make coffee, gr grind it, make coffee. Uh, but they're also medicinal just to put in a tincture. You can cut up the whole plant and put a tincture. So we've got some right up here in the front of our yard. They had the uh, first little uh, flowers, um, tassels, uh, you know, uh, that you blow in the wind. Um, they had those on them. And then in just in the last couple of days, a new bunch of flowers have popped up. So uh, these I'm going to get, they are young and um, uh, just popped up in the last two days. And so, I'm going to get all these little young ones through here in this area. And uh, then I'm going to find some uh, bigger, um, for the whole plant, I'm going to look for some bigger. Because the leaves get tough as they get a little older. So, uh, so, I'll be digging up a couple of whole plants to make a tincture. But for now, I'm going to pick all of these blooms you see here. And these blooms, these dandelion blooms that I'm picking, um, I'm going to make an oil. And then I'm going to take my oil and, um, and let it um, infuse for, um, for about, um, oh, maybe a month. And then I can take that oil and make a salve. And that salve is good for um, arthritis and stuff, for pain. So, I wish I had added this to my super salve that I make, but I didn't. So, the next time I make super salve, I will add this to it. And, um, anyway, so we're going to be picking all these little blooms here. And then, um, I'll let them dry just a little just let them dry enough to um, soak up the oil about an hour let them dry in the sun for about an hour maybe or out on the table and then you can pour your oil on them and um, let your oil infuse for probably a month and then you can make your salve out of them now we're also going to be digging up uh, some whole plants and I will be cutting up or chopping up the whole plants uh, and maybe including a few flowers uh, for a tincture. Uh, so I'm going to be working on that and then we're going to go into the woods. Okay, there you go. It doesn't take that long to pull enough for a uh, for a tincture for a oil for a, probably a pint full. That'll probably be a pint full. It doesn't take that long to pick just the flower tops there. Now we need to dig up some whole dandelions. So, got my knife. I'm gonna go right over here where I saw a couple of uh, young looking plants that look like they are in a good soft spot here. There's a really good one. I'm going to dig that one up. There we go. There's a pretty good root. That'll do. I'll get two or three like that. Just got my dandelion. I'm going to pull these pieces off. They've already spent not that you couldn't use them. I just don't want them. They're kind of tough and 
probably wouldn't make any difference since I'm making a tincture with this. But I'm just going to snap them out of there. And there's my root. All right, there's one. I need a couple more like that. Let me put some of this dirt back in my hole. Okay, I'm back here at the house. The first thing I'm going to do is dump my dandelion blooms out on the table. And I'm going to let them sit here just a minute and maybe get some bugs out of them. If there's any little critters in there, they'll start crawling out, get rid of them. It usually would be those little bitty tiny black bugs. I don't know what they are, but those will sometimes come out of these. And so we'll let those sit out there for just a few minutes and um, kind of dry out a little bit, get the bugs out. And after I wash them, I will lay them out here again and let them dry for a good hour or more and start just barely, um, just barely starting to wilt a little bit. Meanwhile, I've got the whole plants over here. I've got to wash the knife off good and I'm going to wash off these plants really good. And I'm going to let them dry a little bit and then put them in my, um, uh, some cheap vodka. I'm just going to do cheap vodka for these. Uh, it's 80%. Uh, you need at least an 80 proof vodka uh, for tincture. All right, I've got the dandelions drying. <laughs> and we're headed into the woods. Uh, me and Lee, he has spotted some stinging nettle. We always have stinging nettle down here in our woods. And he has spotted some young ones coming up, which is my favorite time to get them is when they're good and young and little. Um, you can get them at any time. Stinging nettle is a um, very medicinal plant. You can wash them up and you can even throw them in salad or dry them and make tea or use them in tinctures or uh, just multiple different things. Um, I have usually dried them and made tea and put them in a tea blend or dry them and uh, powder them and put them in my uh, my capsules, uh, my vitamin capsules I make. So we are headed down here to get some because I ran completely out this last year. And uh, we're gonna go get some of these young ones. And then uh, we probably won't get a whole lot today uh, because I'm too busy to fool with very much of it today. So we'll get some and then in a few days or this next weekend, maybe I can get some more. So here we go. Let me get down this hill and then I will turn this back on. The jewelweed is getting bigger. There's jewelweed. It's getting bigger and you can tell jewelweed by the translucent green stems. And, uh, oh, a little later on, you'll see the blooms in the fall, but just having used it so much, I identify it just early on young, kind of the translucent, juicy stem. And you can take that young, juicy stem and, uh, and just rub it on your hands uh, to keep from getting poison ivy out here. Okay, here's a good spot with plenty of stinging nettle there's some right over here so these are pretty young probably about oh six or eight inches tall some of them might be a foot tall most of them are six or eight inches tall they have uh, hairs all over them that sting you but they are so good for you. And uh, even the stings are good for arthritis. If you can stand it and put them on your hands and let them sting your hands, it's good for arthritis in your hands. I can't do that. <laughs> I just can't do that. I tried it one time and fired me up. I can't do it. But you can see the little stingers all up in there. And um, so 
underneath the leaf has stingers and some people will take and fold it in and pick it like that to just get the leaves. But I don't do that. You can use the whole plant. They have uh, leaves that are staggered on opposite sides. So here's your stem. I have to use gloves. I can't, stay, I can't take it. But like your leaf is on that side and then staggered down here on the opposite side and all the way down like that. So, we brought a bag. We're going to pick some of these. Um, stinging nettle is really good for your liver. And um, just go oh, good for lots of things. It's loaded with uh, vitamins and minerals. Good for lots of things, but especially um, very good for your liver. And anti-inflammatory, so it's good for your... Uh, arthritis and that type of thing, joint pain. It's really good for your heart, uh, good for blood pressure. That's one reason I like to get it because I got off blood pressure medicine uh, several years ago by taking my own uh, herbal supplements and wild plants, mostly wild plants that I use that I powder and uh, I dry and powder and, and um, make my own capsules and uh, so so there you go um so we're gonna pick a bunch of these and get them in a bag I will probably just snap off about halfway you can take the whole thing but the further down you get the more stingers are are bigger the bigger the stingers and the older they get the bigger the stingers. So I like to come get them young and snap off about half. I can't get a hold of them with this glove. Ugh, okay, so I like to get them young and snap them off about halfway. And there you go. We gotta get our bag. I'm gonna break them off and throw them in the bag. And uh, throw them in the bag and not on me. Yeah, well, I ain't got no anyway, blood. they're all out through here. All out through there, most of all that green you see, a lot of that is the stinging nettle. We have tons of it down here in our woods, along with lots of other things. Um, you just got to learn what you're getting. Like I said, this is edible. Uh, you can wash this up good, and uh, the stingers will come off, and you can um, do lots of different things in it. You can cook it like a green. Um, throw it in a salad after you've washed it really good and got the stingers off. You can, when you dry it, the stingers um, don't have any effect. The little hairs or stingers uh, don't have any effect after it's dried or washed or cooked. Um, they go away. So, there you go. And if you're brave enough to get stung by them, it will help your arthritis. <laughs> I'm not. Tried it once, can't do it again. Okay, Lee also found some wild purple fox down here he was telling me about. He took a picture of it. And um, I didn't know, I know about uh, wild purple phlox. Some people call it wild blue phlox. Ours is purple. Um, and it's also called wild sweet William. And uh, I had seen it for years, but I've never utilized that. And so I went ahead and looked that up. And um, the uh, Native Americans did use it for some, um, some medicine, um, but not a whole lot. And uh, there was a couple of things that they used it for, but mostly external. And so you could make a salve out of that for um, boils and uh, eczema was the two things that I really found mostly that it was good for is for a salve for boils and eczema. Wild Sweet William or Wild Purple Phlox. All right, back to the, well, uh, back to the stinging nettle. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pick a bunch of this and get it in our bag, and then we'll talk more about it at the house. And 
Also got to make sure I'm pinching off the right ones because there's a couple of different plants in here. So let me pay attention and get the right thing here. And one has gotten my leg because I feel it. I feel one has touched my leg and it's stinging just a little bit. All right, we're gonna get these picked and you hit that. Yeah. Okay, we got a bag full. We're headed out of here, headed to the house. House is right up there. So, oh, 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 my foot has been hurting a lot. I don't know what it is. It's like a stone bruise on the bottom of my foot. Has been hurting a lot. Anyway, shut up. <laughs> I'm caught on a limb. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so we're headed out of here. Uh, I am going to test something out. I had heard, I've never tried it, that the jewel weed also helps with the sting of stinging nettle. And, oh, I fall down. <laughs> you can't do and, things at once. No, I can't. You can't walk at the same so, on the way out up here, well, there's lots of it. It's all over the place. Let's test it right here. It's some jewelweed. And I got a little bit of... I got a little bit of... Uh, right in here is a red area where I got some of that uh, uh, stinging nettle on me. I got up against... Oh got up against that stinging nettle and it's stinging right in there uh, we're gonna test this out right now with the stinging nettle I've used it for poison ivy and all that for several years and I've never tried it with the stinging nettle sting and I just got a stinging nettle sting on my ankle. So we go see how quick it works. You can just break it up and get that juice. You want that juice out of that plant on there real good. All right, it's already helping. Shoot, it's already helping. But you can see where it was at, right there where it's red. I'll just rub this juice on there real good. I can tell it's already helping some. Yeah. That's good. Good deal. Yep, that works. There you go. When I get up to the house, I'll wash with my soap. It may be gone by then. It already feels better. I may not need the soap. Hmm. Alrighty. We're out of here. We're going to climb this hill and get to the house. That's all we're going to do down here today. And uh, I got to get up here and get my um, dandelion going in my oil and my tincture and uh, wash up this stinging nettle. So we'll see you back up the house. So there you go. We're back up in the house and we've got the stinging nettle. I'm fixing to wash it up good in the sink. I'm going to let it soak in the sink for an hour or so and really get those off of there. You can see them good in here. I want it to show them up in here so you could really see those suckers good. Uh, and they are, some of them, the ones on the bottom of the leaves are not as bad as the stem, but there are some on the bottom of the leaves. And, uh, but people will, like I said, take and grab the top of the leaf and it's not, it doesn't have any on it and you can take it and pull them like that and um, and it doesn't have any on the top the bottom has some oh there you can see some and the stem really has them bad I can't tolerate it I have to use a glove uh, I am gonna wash these up good I'm gonna put them in the dehydrator and dehydrate them and I am going to use uh, part of them in a tea blend and part of them I will dehydrate and then powder and put in my capsules. Uh, I was out the last time I made capsules and I need to make capsules again soon. So this time they will have the stinging nettle in it. It is good for, um, like I said, blood pressure, liver, loaded with vitamins and minerals, good for uh, blood sugar. Uh, I'm, I'm not diabetic, I don't have a bad blood sugar, but it is good for that. Um, 
and allergies. It's good for allergies and tons of other stuff. Um, if you haven't seen uh, our, we have a playlist on um, uh, foraging wild things playlist that we had. We done the last few years and uh, stinging nettle is in there a couple of times. I will link um, the stinging nettle video, the first one I done in the description below and at the end of this uh, video. So you can go watch that and it will give you more information on the stinging nettle. So there you go. There's some great things that you can get in the woods. Um, this was our in the woods video for this week and in the yard video. <laughs> uh, we're gonna call it in the woods number nine. But uh, there you go, get you some stinging nettle. It is wonderful stuff. Just wear your glove <laughs> and positively identify it. Um, all right, I've washed these and let them uh, drain a little, little. <laughs> and so I wanted to show, let me do it this way, that those stingers are not near as bad now. They're still there some. You can still see them some, but they're not near as bad as when you pick them. So when you wash them off, they get a little better. There's not very many on that one. You can see a little bit on there, but not near as bad. So now I'm gonna put them on the dehydrator and once they dehydrate, the stingers will be pretty much gone completely. Uh, so then when I crush them up or break them up for teas and all, um, they won't even bother me. So there's my stinging nettle going in my dehydrator. Um, I've got uh, the six trays and the top one's not very full. It's got, you know, just a little in it. So five and a half trays and it's been going on 95. I keep it at 95 for herbs. Um, it's been going at 95 for about four four and a half hours and it's about done. These are pretty dry. Even these on the top are already pretty, pretty dry and crunchy. So they're, they're done. If those on the top are done, I know the rest of them down through there are done. I'll check them real quick and then probably go ahead and turn that off and deal with it and the rest of it in the morning. Uh, here's my whole herbs. They're still drying a little bit. I'm fixing to uh, chop them up and put them in my alcohol. But here's my dandelion oil. I already done it. I just put uh, olive oil on there and covered that up and labeled it. And I'll put that back in my um, herb uh, cabinet for about a month. And then just uh, strain it out and uh, make salve out of that. So there you go. So y'all give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to our channel. It's free. <laughs> and uh, watch us. Uh, watch our foraging playlists. We have a foraging wild things playlist and a walk in the woods new playlist. So um, thanks for watching y'all.